All right, guys, today we're going to do a review on our Kubota B7100 four-wheel drive HST. A um, little backstory on this tractor. I bought it from an elderly gentleman. Um, he recently had some life-changing experiences, and he needed a smaller machine um, to cut his small section of grass. I had a Kubota K1760, which is a two-cylinder liquid-cooled Kawasaki engine. It's like a 50-inch deck on it. Um, good little machine, but it really was way too small for what we were doing here. I also had a Jubilee Ford. I want to say it was a 1953 model, if I'm not mistaken, um, that we were also using here on our three acres. The concept with this is this machine was to replace both of those two, so I offered the elderly gentleman um, the K1760 plus $1,500 cash and that I would come up there and get it from him. He was about two and a half hours away. Sent him some videos. Me and my son got in the truck with the trailer. We drove up there and picked it up. This machine has been absolutely phenomenal. And it is... I can't tell you how many tractors we've been through before. I've had Sears Suburbans, a John Deere 400 recently, um, a Bolens, I want to say it was a 1502 if I remember. Um, this is my first hydrostatic full drive tractor and it, it wasn't, it did have some issues when we got it. Most of them have been really minor, easy fixes. Um, we do have to put some time on the deck here, but if you have a chance to grab one of these tractors, especially if you can get one for the deck for under $2,500 or $3,000, do it. Um, they're absolutely phenomenal machines. I could not be more impressed. This machine works as hard as a 28 or 30 horsepower um, 8N or Jubilee does. The four-wheel drive gives it a huge amount of versatility, even though it's a lot lighter. I mean, this is nowhere near the weight of an 8N or a Jubilee. It's probably easily over a 1,000 pounds lighter. It really does get the job done. Let's do a quick walk around. Uh, first off, one of the issues we did have not too long after we got it was this seal started leaking on us pretty bad. Um, super simple fix, under an hour. Um, the most expensive part is replacing the fluid. The seal itself is really cheap, readily available at Kubota dealerships. Um, one thing the Kubota dealership told us is that this flange did not have a gasket in it. It does in fact have a gasket. So <laughs> it's RTV'd on there because when we got the kit, we did not get the gasket for it. I promise you a gasket came off there. I'm pretty sure there's a part number for that gasket, but the RTV has held up fine. Obviously we have midpoint PTO and rear PTO. We also of course have hydraulic lift on the back, which is a huge deal for us because we do use a scraper blade. These rear tough turf tires have held up really well. You get a really good amount of traction with them. I've been really surprised. Um, it does have diff lock, which is absolutely phenomenal. So when you really do need it, you have that extra traction. But for regular mowing, even on really wet, hilly surfaces, you don't need it. And usually when I mow, I keep it in two-wheel drive. I very rarely use four-wheel drive, except if I'm in really rough terrain or if I'm using the scraper blade, obviously. The deck is massive, 60 inches. This one has had some patch jobs and definitely needs additional work on it. But it works, it functions just fine. By the way, with the seal for the rear PTO and all the additional maintenance we did, which was fuel filter, hydraulic filter, air filter, oil filter, oil, front diff oil, rear diff oil, Pretty much everything you need to do a complete service on one of these tractors was $260 through Kubota, which really was not that bad, especially after coming from a John Deere 400, which anything green they think has gold in the paint. So love John Deere, but the prices will kill you. It was missing the front grill, which these are hard to find. So we are searching for one of those, or we may do some repairs. We've got to get the headlights more situated. The previous owner had put LEDs in there for some reason. One issue we had was the muffler was in really bad shape. So we did this. 
And what happened here was essentially it had broken in a couple places. It was kind of loose and the pipe was positioned straight up. Got a new piece of pipe on there. Basically took some um, argon shielding wire, cleaned up all everything, welded it. And then we made this little almost 45 into a 30 degree bend at the top. That's just to keep water from going in there. It works really well at blowing the smoke away from you and not getting drafted back in your face. If you were considering buying one of these tractors, the biggest thing is these goofy front tires. Um, they don't offer a lot of traction. I know they're meant to be gentle on your grass, but those are gonna get changed out. And I suspect that will help dramatically with the front traction. But once again, even with those slick front tires, they do really well. Um, these machines are super, super fuel efficient. I've been amazed at how long I can go um, just on one tank, how many hours I can get out of it. And I mean, running it hard in thick grass, on hills, wet grass, it, it really just eats it up and it really sips fuel, which was a big improvement coming from the John Deere 400, which big five gallon tank. And I mean, it, it needs it because it sucks the fuel power wise. If you run this thing in low range, your speed is kind of slow, probably around four miles an hour but you have such a big deck and the diesel just does not get bogged down. Once again, you can be going up a hill, going through that wet stuff, it does not affect it. It doesn't bog down like a gas engine. Um, that is really kind of a testament to the quality of these machines. This one has almost 2,400 hours on it. Um, my plan is to address the tire issue and the deck issue this winter finished cleaning up. You can see my duct tape seat because the seat was in terrible condition. Um, probably build a front grill on it because I highly doubt I'm going to be able to find one and then go from there. So if you're considering one of these great machines, absolutely love them.